going out in Myeongdong in uh, the most commercial street. So there is another street where all the shops and the um, all the shops are with beauty trends. We are going to visit all of them because I, I really want to make sure to maximize this visit to Korea. Um, to me it's very important every time I do something like this because it really opens my mind and it really uh, make me see things from a different perspective, a different point of view. Because what a Korean woman does, they believe that by adding hydration to the skin, the skin appears to be more glowy and less, uh, less aged. The main concern that a Korean woman has is to keep herself look younger. That's the reason why every single product that they buy, like for example the cushion uh, foundation that they buy, you always have a very high sun protection and a lot of hydration because they believe that keeping the skin hydrated and plumped and protect the skin from the sun uh, the, the skin will, uh, will keep the youth for longer which actually it is true anyway, as I said before, we are ready, we are ready to go we're gonna go and discover more trends today and then we're gonna see all those stores and places where they sell cosmetics and beauty products so let's go Okay, we just arrived at um, Myeongdong, which is the street where I say to you that all the beauty uh, shops are. And now we're gonna explore all of them. And I can even tell you how many they are. Actually, let me show you this. In here, for example, they have this, which is foundation and sub protection together. They're very keen on that. And then also, down here, they have a sleeping mask. And uh, all the shop is full of cushion, cushion, cushion. And all the foundation are with cushion. You can see the difference between the darker color is not even touched. The tester with all the lighter color. You know, like a different serum. For example, in here you have a golden glow face oil, super vit vital eye cream. So here we go. We are here now because we are um, exploring the skincare and the beauty market. So they have the tools that they use to massage this, the skin and the feeling is really beautiful I have to say when you do that. And she said that you do it here to improve and uh, lift the jawline and also on your neck as well which is very good as an anti-aging mm -hmm. also they have a sh uh, snail sheep mask that they use it for nourishing and moisturizing also they have a golden placenta they have so many products in here it's insane and uh, and again the makeup that you see in here it's always like a little bit more minimal than uh, than the skincare and masks I don't know like how many masks they have I am so confused because there's so many I wouldn't know what to pick 
But apparently what she said to me is that they focus a lot on uh, repairing the skin, uh, making the skin white. Even in the shop where I was before, in all the product there was all whitening formula in there, which obviously is not for me, but for all the Asian market is very important because what they concern is that they want to be white looking young and every time I speak with one of the consultants they always tell me about wrinkles and anti-wrinkles uh, so apparently this is what they concern that they want to look younger, they want to look fresher uh, like the rest of the world and then also whiter which I think it works very well for the East but I don't think it works very well for uh, for Europe and the rest of the world because all of us we like to look a little bit more tan anyway Let's carry on and exploring. So I just spoke with one of the beauty advisors and then she said to me that whenever the Korean woman comes in here to buy the skincare, they buy normally this serum, which is a, a gold snail serum. So you take a bit of that and you put it all over your face and it's a very good anti-wrinkles product. And then they take obviously the mask, big generous pack, so you can do one every week. And then also they have this cream, which is a placenta cream, just that one, which is very nice. So they buy this one because it's very good and it's very anti-aging. Uh, the people into the sh shop didn't want me to take picture or video. But I thought that um, I need to share this one with you because I thought it was very cool. Uh, they had the mascara and then the mascara had a brush inside the brush. So basically you can have uh, two different finish with one mascara by pulling a different brush. So there was step number one that was on top and uh, when the mascara was coming out the brush was the same but the only thing that will change will be the amount of mascara on the brush and then when you put it number, when you will use number two, there will be more mascara on the same brush and I thought it was very cool. Also they had eyebrow tint, so it's, um, it was like an eyeliner, like with a thicker brush, that you can put it on the eyebrow, leave it for 10-15 minutes and then wash it off to, um, uh, to tint the eyebrow because they have very thick eyebrow, I mean very big. But the hair are very sparse, so they have the problem of how to make them look a little bit thicker. So the Korean step of getting ready in the morning are cleanser, toner, hydrating toner only, lotion, serum, cream, base, BB cream with SPF 50, cushion foundation with SPF 50 and highlighter. So this is how you create a perfect, shiny, bright, beautiful, healthy, glowy skin. So what this will do now 20 minutes and every day okay this one wrinkle nice this one wrinkle nice and this one massage will go best and this is collagen mm. this one only collagen made in korea this one collagen and for this nail plus you know both of together ah, okay oh, this one only collagen patchy only every day okay today buy one piece we one piece so she do like this this one, placenta and cold snail together. Hey, what is this? This one, collagen and cold together. This one, black, this one, white. Only oh. collagen. This one, only collagen, this one, cold collagen together. And this one you put here mm. and it give you lifting. Oh, effect. lifting nice. Oh, this is the state of me for 20 minutes. I'm gonna be so much younger, honestly. And also, she sold me all those masks. 
So they hooked me, traffic stopped me with this. And then she sold me this, this, and this. EGF and placenta. Maybe she's gonna sell me this also. Anyway, let's see how it goes. With all the collagen masks that I did, now I feel so much younger and fresh. Of course, as you understand, I bought so many products and obviously the one that I show you. When I go back to London, I have so many to use. Honestly, my bathroom look like a beauty salon. But anyway, we are passionate about it, so I love it. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna make my way back to the hotel because I'm gonna meet the rest of the guys. Tomorrow we're gonna launch officially in Asia the Tentadol Ultra Wear 24 Hours Foundation. That's the reason why I'm here. To support with the launch. And uh, we're gonna go for a meeting today. And then tomorrow morning, of course, I'm gonna take you with me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you part of this big launch that is gonna overtake all Asia. Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna make my way to go downstairs and meet the rest of the team. So we are making our way to meet the bloggers and then uh, uh, start the day. Uh, we're gonna finish probably around six o'clock, but of course I'm gonna update you and uh, show you everything. Bonjour, German. Bonjour. <laughs> So I'm here with Ellie, she's um, a national makeup artist from Korea and then obviously who is better than her to tell you about all the trends that we have in Korea. So if you see, if you notice her makeup, do you know like the way that the makeup looks? So Ellie, can you tell a little bit about the trend in Korea and how the makeup, how the woman likes to wear the makeup here and how do they look after the skin at the same time? Um, women love wearing makeup, but we don't want to wear much, too much makeup so that it doesn't look thick. And we also look, um, we love the semi-matte finished makeup. So our, fin uh, our finish should be powdery, but it should be moist this time. Uh, we launched in the Tainted All Ultra Wear, which is very different, you know? Like, is the, does the still people like to have the very shiny skin? or they like more matte finish. What do you think about it? So most of the time when we don't wear too much makeup, we usually go for um, this glass skin so that we look shiny and glossy. But if we wear full makeup, if we want to go for a fuller look, we try to go for a um, less glossy look with semi-matte finish. Because if we have a shiny skin, we might look too old and Korean women lo love looking um, younger and having lighter finish. So do you say that the shiny finish make you look more old or more young? So when we don't have a makeup on our eyes and our lips, we might go for a glossy and glass looking skin because it doesn't make us look older. But if we put a lot of colors on our eyes and lips and if we, do, if we have too much of a glassy skin, um, we might look like we have too much oil and we have too much sebum. So yeah. yeah, that's why. But, and also in Korea, you, lo you love to look after the skin because when I went around yesterday, around different stores, mm -hmm. I see that all the steps and the selection of skincare that you have, that is incredible. So Korean women look after the skin more... Would you say that in here looking after the skin is more important than makeup? Or do you think it's the same? Um, so one editor, uh, one magazine editor of uh, editor said that since we have such a dry climate, we are used to taking care of our skin and now we're really good at it. So it is because we want to overcome this weather and climate. And so in the past, about a decade ago, we had a lot of attention on skincare items. But now we have great skin and we know uh, how to take care of our skin. So recently the trend has been towards the makeup. And like we said, the international um, 
uh, the the new foundation, the Deng Itong, it, it, is, it has like 24 hours of lasting effects for international, but for Korea, if we go for 24 hours, it's too dry, so we say it's 18 hours. The eyebrow. If you notice, like a lot of Korean women like the straight eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> so is that trend that connects to something or uh, why? Because a lot of the uh, women from the West, they like a very yeah, yeah, arched yeah. eyebrow. Yeah. And then what is the, why is this difference? Why do, do Korean women like more straight look? Yeah. Of all, we have very different bone structure. So um, the Westerners have more focus and more dimensional face. And we have a little bit more flat and more dull face. So we want, if we go for an archy brow, it's, um, the eyebrows pop up too much. And it, it makes us look older. And then the last question will be like your lips. Yeah. Did you, why do you paint your lips mm. like uh, normally smaller? <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of uh, Western European people, they like to overdraw yeah, their lips yeah. and make them bigger. And then in Korea, people like when the lips look softer and smaller. <laughs> so why is that? So like we said, looking young is really important for us. So we go for the soft and subtle looking lips. If we go for fuller lips, we might look sexy and we might look sophisticated and classy, but it might make us look old. So that's why we try to go for this beautiful lip. Perfect. So we understood that from the Western people, it's more about looking sexy. Yeah. For Korean, it's all about looking young. Yeah. So I want to say thank you very much to Ellie thank for answering you. all the questions. Um, see you soon. And thank you. Bye from Korea. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce you to another two fabulous makeup artist, Miwa, national makeup artist from Japan, and then we have Vic, national makeup artist for Travel Retail. Travel Retail. Yeah. And I want to, both of you to give one tip of a big trend in Asia. Lu, you, in Japan, which one is the biggest trend? Matte skin. in Japan. So at the moment it seems that everyone likes the matte. Mm -hmm. And then what is the biggest trend? Because you, uh, Vic works in travel retail, so it does all uh, the Asia. So yes. it does Japan, Taiwan, yes. China, all Asia. What is the biggest trend generally for all, Co not Korean women, all, uh, all uh, women, Asian women, women. Asian women. Okay. What do they love? Actually, recently the trend a little change, especially for the skin tone. They love to the from the luminous skin change to the luminous matte skin. So I believe the Tang Idol cushion suitable with the old Asia woman, and especially now it's the trend. That's great. So now we're gonna start to welcome all the influencers coming. So we're gonna have like three hours time uh, in uh, this beautiful place. Yes. We're gonna do beautiful makeup and photo shoot over there. And then after, we're gonna go on point of sale, which of course I'm gonna show you that. And I want to, to introduce you to German. German is the international training director for Lancome, and he's the person that will coordinate everything today. Let's go and meet him. Good morning, German. Good morning, Yuki. How are you? <laughs> I am very excited here with Fortunato and the other national makeup artists because we have a big event in Seoul with influencers, with the people for the fashion and with the real client to present Tani Doll Ultra Wear and L'Absolu Lacquer. So then you will see the final picture and the makeup by Fortunato. <laughs> And also, it's a very exciting moment because today, for the first time, we're going to use a new machine which is going to be available on cancer. It's called the Shade Founder. So we're going to use this to find the perfect shade of foundation. And then also we will have uh, the iPad. So if you see at the back what's going on is all uh, the influencers arrived 
and uh, everyone is given a consultation. Uh, obviously, we are focused with ten dollar ultra uh, wear foundation, which the formulation in Asia is a little bit different. So instead of being twenty four hours matte finish, it is a matte with luminous finish and it's eighteen hours long lasting with SPF thirty eight. So it's slightly different, of course, to adapt the product to the Asian market. So this is the place where we're going to work now. We have two Lancome counter, one on the ground floor and one on the 10th floor, which is duty free and it's where, where we are going. Because today is all about Lancome. So all of us working, making all Korean women look beautiful. This Thank is you. my customer. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Michelle. Uh, Mich <laughs> Michelle. Michelle. And this is my station. Okay, let's make Michelle looking beautiful. So finally, <laughs> Michelle, she's ready for tonight. She's going out. What do you think, Michelle? Do you like your new foundation? So look like uh, so beautiful. Look at that. A beautiful, <laughs> as perfect. So head shade of uh, tainted dog ultra wear, a cushion foundation and concealer. Every everything launched. Now. So now we finish. We're gonna go and have a, a gala dinner with all the influencers that came today, and uh, we're gonna celebrate and have an amazing time about this beautiful success of launch of Tentidol Ultra Wear. That's great, so we are out now, we're walking towards the location, which we're gonna arrive in about two minutes. So here we go, we arrived at the place, the venue, it looks insane. The view is incredible because we are on the 50th floor in Seoul and look at the venue and all the decorations. Yes, yum. 
remember. What is the seat number two? Big two. Yeah. Uh, big. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunato, he's here. Having dinner with this beautiful bunch of people. Oh, the German, oh. Carlo, Hi. Alex, Hello. the rest of the team, a beautiful table. Hello. Miwa and V. Hello. <laughs> to come to our dinner tonight. Thank you.